Greetings, and we trust you've been having a good week and enjoying each and every day, experiencing God's goodness in your life. And we appreciate you giving us the opportunity to come to you and spend these few moments with you. This week, we've been reflecting on Jeremiah 18, 1 through 6, as we uh, discover God as the potter and Him working on us as a potter would work on a lump of clay. One of the things, very interesting things we see in Jeremiah 18 is when Jeremiah goes to see the potter, the, the lump of clay doesn't come out initially the way the potter intends it, intends for it. And so he reworks on it, starts afresh on that same lump of clay. And God points that out or highlights that to Jeremiah and says, you know, Jeremiah, can I not do the same thing with the people? as the potter is reworking on this lump of clay. And that's something for us to consider and think about. Now, when God works in us, there is, as we mentioned earlier this week, a contrast between the lump of clay, which is inanimate, and us people who have a free will. And the contrast, of course, is that in our case, Sometimes we, the clay, make wrong choices and decisions and go off in wrong directions, which therefore mars the lump of clay. So the marring on the lump of clay is not what the potter does to us, but it's what we do to ourselves. And that's a big difference between the illustration of the potter and the clay and God's working in our lives, which we understand from Scripture. So, out of all our own choosing, wrong choices, wrong decisions, sometimes our willful rebellion, sometimes our negligence, we cause marring upon the lump of clay. But the good thing is, which God points out to us, is God can rework that. What a wonderful thought. That our wrong choices, our wrong decisions, our negligence, our mistakes is not the final result. It's not the end of the world. It's not the ultimate. Because there is a potter in heaven who is God Almighty, who is more than able to rework the lump of clay undo the effects of our wrong choices, of our mistakes, of our rebellion, of our negligence, rework it and still bring out something beautiful from that same lump of clay. And that's who our God is. And that's the beautiful assurance we have. Now, this is not a reason for us to go off into rebellion and go off and do wrong things. That's not the point. The point is even if even if we have made mistakes, or even if we've been pushed into those things through various things that have happened to us, we can go back to God and say, Lord, I submit. I come back. I repent. I return to the Lord who is the potter. And I have in confidence that you're more than able to rework me, refashion me, and make me in the vessel that I'm supposed to be. What a joy, what a delight. We can do it. And if you need to do that today, you can. Small things and big things. We can re God can rework things in our lives. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are the spotter who can fix what's wrong in our lives, rework it, and still fashion us into that beautiful vessel you intend us to be. Thank you. And so we surrender. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.